Welcome to part 2 of our lighting tutorial. Now that we have a better understanding of each of the different lights available in our advanced graphics catalog, we can use a combination of these lights to create different lighting effects. The first lighting effect that I'm going to create is a daytime scene. The first item we will add to our scene is Star Sun. We do this by selecting the item in our Add Palette and then selecting our Variable Add Item tool. We click on our first point from where we want our sun to originate. Release the mouse button and move in the direction we want the sun to shine, remembering that holding down control on our keyboard will temporarily disable angle snapping. We then click on our second point to determine the angle at which our light enters the room. A short line will produce a lower angle from our light source and a longer line will produce a higher angle. We may need to do this several times until we are happy with the end result. The next item that we add to the design is the star ambient light to increase the general brightness of the drawing. It does not matter where this light is added into the room as it increases the brightness of the room evenly. As we can see, although we have the sun shining in the room, we don't have very many shadows being cast. To sort this out, I will position my cursor in an area where I'm not likely to be focusing on in perspective view and I will add one point light there. This will cast additional light onto our units, creating shadows that we were not getting from the sun. Depending on the size of the room, you may want to add some star point quarter lights to enhance areas that appear too dark. If our room still looks too dark, we don't necessarily need to add more lights to it. If we go to our full screen perspective view and click on our view palette icon, we will see two brightness and contrast sliders. We can move these up or down to adjust the brightness and contrast levels of our lighting. Generally adding just these three types of lights will be sufficient for smaller rooms. This concludes part 2 of our lighting tutorial.